Hello all, welcome to the channel. This is B Square, and today we will make a sheet metal table in SolidWorks. In this table, we will use sheet metal command and weldment command for making this table. So I am starting the tutorial now. New file. And uh, we will make first uh, top of our table. Okay, so in sector rectangle, I am making dimension that is one two double zero and seven five zero. Okay, now in sheet metal base plane. Here we will give thickness of our top that is 1 mm and click OK. Ok now we will make range so in H normal Ok now give the dimension here to here that is 40 mm and this will be 12 mm okay now in sheet metal use meter flange and select all the edges okay now radius is 1 mm and this is gap distance to so that is also point one. Now click yes. Okay, now give the material. So here I am applying three zero four that is SS material. Okay. Now save this is our top. So here I am writing is a table top. Okay, now table top. Now one more time, new part. Okay, in select uh, front plane, draw a line. So this will be our pipe. So I am making this line 845 mm. In, in weldment command exit the sketch and structure member here I am choosing here custom in square tube and here I am using 4041 and select this one ok so this is my pipe ok now hide the sketch and here apply material that is 304 okay save this is our 40 by 40 pipe sq40 give the name now save now we will make a assembly So here first I am import table top. Okay. Now let's right click and make it float. Okay. Now we will make front to front. Okay. And uh, right to right plane. And also top to top plane mat. Okay, mat here. Okay, now perfect. Okay, now insert component. We will insert our uh, square pipe. This is our square pipe, right? So here in mat select. This face to this face and give here 
distance it is 0.5 mm okay now this is 0.5 mm done now select this face to this face and give here it is also 0.5 mm okay done click ok now select this face to this below face and coincident and click ok now fine so this is done ok now we will mirror put the four to select this one and right plane go to here mirror and we will mirror this component in this type we will create a new derived configure existing okay and click yes now one more time in front plane we will also mirror this to pipe select this and this pipe mirror type this also this okay now create new okay yes so now we have our pipe structure is ready okay first to save this assembly so i am writing name that is table assembly okay So I have the end cap that I downloaded. Okay. So this is the PVC part. So here also we will give width mat here to here and width mat okay. One more time here. Now with map done. Now this face to this face coincident. Okay. Okay. Now we also use this mirror to select this component and click OK. Now here in this second mirror, now we just need to select this one and this one ok now let's see here to here distance that will be here you can see the distance so I need the distance that is uh, 850 ok so I need to add the length plus 0.75 ribbon and yes now see again see this will be 8 by 0 okay now here to here that is 1 to double 0 and this face to this face it is 7 by 0 save again now we will make a bracing okay so for that uh, new part in bracing we will use uh, 25 by 25 pipe okay so let's see the so first we will measure the distance here to here it is 1095 okay so now give the dimension 
click right, exit the sketch, go to your weld maps, the structure member, we will use uh, 25, 25.85, okay, now click here, so this is our 25, now hit the sketch, right click, apply material, okay, then now save, so this is my square pipe 25 okay give the name now we will also map here holding purpose that is here i am using 1mm and this will be say 10mm Yes, twelve and I'm fine now. Here to here, okay. This is fine now. Center line, control A go to your mirror. So this will be mirror the sketch, okay. Now it's two. Up to this face and orange result okay fine and uh, also let's add uh, okay later we will add now here also select this face sketch select this sketch and convert entity extrude to this face and uh, edit and we need merge result okay merge result now fine control s and let's give some radius here Let's make radius is uh, 2.5. Okay, one mm. Let's make 0.25. It's 0.25 is enough. Now this edge. Not this fair only this edge. Okay, fine. Control S. Now open this part as a open position. Okay, then sketch here, make it normal. Now, here we will make two rectangle cut. So, my thickness is 0.8. Okay, and length is 10. Now line four construction and make this one okay fine. Now give the distance here to here. Let's make uh, one seven five. Now we have two slots so in your pattern select this one here one and here two reverse direction make here 25 mm okay Pick this one okay yes fine we have it now extrude cut 
go to here up to next okay fine so down here now we will make here also same now sketch here normal corner rectangle here just make here now 10 m if you wire pen and select this and this you can write here equal okay and let's say select this one and this one okay it can work here okay done now center line Make it here vertical. This and this will be full here. Okay. Now fine. Now also linear pattern. Select here, here one, here two, and make it reverse direction twenty five mm. Dimensioning in Y, okay. Now find click here up to next 10 years. Okay. Now control is control W. So here you can see we have the rectangle cut. Okay, fine now. Add our pipe. So this is my here 25 mm pipe. Okay, right. So here we will use with mat. First, so you can use another mat also. Select here this four face and with mat. Click yes. Okay, and now. This face to here, this face make it coincident, and this face to this face let's make coincident. Okay, now fine. Let's see the cross section. Here you can see now we can make deeper. Here you can see our uh, slot and here uh, this is not matching here. Okay, so we just need to okay so let's minus we need to minus this slot okay that this is 0.8 mm so let's use minus 0.8 mm Okay, now rebuild again. Yes, now this is match. Okay, also this side, also the same. Okay, now we will make this side. Dressing also so here to here this distance is 
सिक्स फोर फाइव ओके सो जस्ट ओपन दिस वन लेट्स लाइक सेवेस हियर आई एम सेवेस ओपन एंड द थर्ड ऑप्शन सेवेस ओके हियर आई एम राइटिंग हियर टू गिव द नेम दैट इज वन Here, the close the original document. Okay, close. Now here we just need to change the dimension. It is six four five mm. Rebuild. And yes, okay. Now save close. Here insert component. This is our new. Okay. So right click rotate. Fine. Now here, just to use with mat clear to here with mat. Okay, done. Now this face press control and select this face. Coincident. Okay. Now this face. Press Control key in this face. Coincident. Okay, yes, fine. Now let's see. Click and cross section. Now here you can see the matching tab and slot. Okay. So here also is no matching here. So we need to simply minus point eight distance. Okay, where is yes here? Minus zero point eight mm. Rebuild. Okay, yes, save. Okay, yes, we just did it. Okay, now save the file and mirror. Select uh, select this pipe. Click yes, and the second mirror. Select this pipe. Click yes. And uh, now we will make cross bracing also. So for that uh, new file, enter in sketch on top plane. Make a line and give the distance that is hundred mm. Okay. Exit the sketch. Weld man structure. And select this one. Okay, now fine. Hide the sketch. Now we will use a degree here. So for that, select uh, here, here, and here. Now give the degree three zero. This is my three zero degree, and also make your give your the degree or uh, select this line and this line and give the same equal result. Okay, now extrude cut to this face. Okay, done. So it will look like this. Okay, now apply material three zero four. Save. So this is my twenty five by this is my second right answer two. Now in assembly one our new part. 
put this field in my here x rotation okay now here first i am giving with mat okay done now select this face and press control key and this face coincident mat actually we this mat uh, we just need to give, make it uh, reverse um, okay. here I just cancel this one and also first i am cancelling with that also ok now just rotate here ok fine coincident net ok now fine now give with net Okay, uh, I need to give with mat. Yes, with mat done here. Okay, now this edge to this edge coincident mat. Yes, fine. In the last, we will make end cap for this section. Okay, now save here. Now press Ctrl and drag. It is the worst second. Okay, now rotate. First view here is coincident mat. Okay. Now give here with mat. here to here ok fine yes and now this edge to this edge coincident net ok fine save here also we can use tab and slot feature for uh, accuracy now mirror edit and select this component yes in this one select this component yes. here you can see we have the whole four the components and now we will make the small bracing which are connected to these four components ok so first uh, measure distance let's say here to here distance 511.79 ok so new part double click here we will make uh, on top plane draw a line give the dimension that is 511.79 deep sketch well made structure and select this one ok now fine now hide the sketch 
right click apply material so here i applying yes this material now fine and also edit our sketch now delete this one and we will map from the center this one and this one okay yes fine exit the sketch i delete the name this is our part 3 so delete to right 3 save okay yes now in here sketch now make here a degree here You know what it is 45 degree okay now draw a line center line control a mirror okay now it should cut up to this face okay fine control s okay now we will import this part this is our third one okay in y direction here okay, fine now we sketch now make the front and this is right okay so make it sketch so it will be in the center okay now select this face press ctrl key and select this face coincident map ok fine now drag and select this edge to this coincident yes we just did it Now save the assembly. Okay, and we will mirror this component. Select this component mirror. Okay, click here. Done. Now we will make also this placing. So select this face to this face this distance is here you can see 961.79 ok so open this part save as third option give the name that is pipe number 4 ok so here you can see and to close the original document okay, now simple rename it it is 961 something now rebuild ok now save and close let's see what is our distance yes Okay, import our new pipe. Okay, now we just need to rotate. Okay, done. Here, you just need to select this face and this face. Control this face. And move it here. Okay, fine. Select this top to this top neck and the, this edge to this edge coincident. Okay, now it is met perfectly. Here is also met. Okay, now mirror component let here. 
Okay, so this will be mirror. So this is the how we are making a sheet metal table. Okay, we need to make end cap here for this. So for that, uh, sketch in this plan, make it normal. Select this, this convert entity. Okay, now press Ctrl N, new part, and let's say top plan. Here, select this sketch and this Ctrl C, copy, copy, and uh, here. Paste. Okay, yes. Now trim mother. Let's say we don't need this one. Okay, fine. And we don't need this as well. Okay, now give the dimension 25 year to year. And Let's increase some point eight zero point eight. Okay, fine. Now view relation. Okay, done. Now in trim option, go to here corner. Let these two make corner. Okay, fine. Now apply radius. It is two point five. Here and here. Okay, now fine. Now just move to the origin. Okay. Now fully define in sheet metal. We will give this is our point eight. Okay, done. Right click and give material. Okay. This is our pipe end cap. Okay, so pipe end cap. Click OK or save. Now here, exit here. We don't need it, just delete. Okay, and assembly import our pipe end cap. Okay, fine now click this pipe and this one right click and isolate so here you can see only these two component is shown here okay now select this face press control key in this face coincident net okay now this face and this face coincident and this edge and this edge coincident okay we done now press ctrl select and drag for second here we need to uh, now rotate okay fine this face to this face coincident this face to this face incident and this edge to this edge coincident. Yes, done here. Exit isolate. Okay. Now select this one, this one, and this one. Right click and isolate. Okay, we select forget to select this two. Okay. Now see this is our end cake. Little bit power here. You can see. Okay, actually we did it here, we need to give 
Mountain Side. Okay, so simple. Now we like this. Okay, yes. Now rotate. Now make again. Okay, coincident map. This is a little bit so now reduce the dimension. Let's say only seven. Rebuild. Okay, now fine. So this is our end cap. Okay. Yes. Okay. We will do same for this pipe. So copy, paste, select these two, right click, select. Yes, fine. Okay. Now rotate a little bit, give some relation. Here to here, okay. Next, find them. Now again. Yes. Press Control key, select and drag. Let's now you one more time. Okay, this to relation. Here to here. Now we need to give. Yes, this line to this line. Okay, fine. Now here, so hidden component. Select this one and this one. It's it. Here you can see. Okay. Not falling. Okay, now mirror select, and here we need to select our new two component. Okay, mirror, and second mirror we need to select this one and this one. Okay, fine. Now we have it. Okay, so this is the sheet metal exercise. Here we made a sheet metal table with the use of sheet metal command and weldment command. So if you are new in the channel, like share and subscribe our channel so thank you for watching thank you all